there's a really easy to use icon maker that uses AI. It's called Candy Icons AI and it's on a lifetime deal right now. So let's go check it out. Well, let's dive into this deal. It's $29 for the lifetime deal and you get renewable credits every month. So let me show you what that gets you. So if you need to generate icons, this is a great deal. I think they look nice and it has a lot of potential. Now you're going to get 35 icon credits per month. So it depends on the icons that you need to generate. It's going to deduct those credits and they're going to renew every month for life. You get the AI icon generator, full copyright ownership, 15 custom styles to choose from, high resolution PNG. So these are going to be the file sizes. So they're pretty big for an icon. Free fab icon generator and free iOS and Mac OS asset generator. That's going to be included in the $29. Now this is candy icons. And once you're here, you're going to see your credits deducted from your uh, lifetime deal. And once you come down here, this is where you're going to generate your icon. So first of all, we got to describe what the icon is going to be about, or you can get an idea from AI. So if you use ChatGPT from here, it's going to give you an idea of what the potential icon you're looking for and you choose it. So let's actually use this one. So in this case, let me write something up. OK, so I just gave it the overall idea. Let's get the suggestions for this. I can either use this over here on the description icon or I can use this. So a Chemex coffee maker, a coffee bean being poured into a Chemex. That's kind of weird and, and different. I, I don't think I will find an icon based on that. So this is how you could potentially use it. Then I can choose the colors that I want to be, to use in this. So I'm going to go for the browns in this case, some grays and not these colors. Since we're talking about coffee, we want to go for this kind of colors. Then we're going to select a style. So in this case, I don't want retro. Now be aware that retro is selected by default and you don't want to make the mistake like I did. So retro was selected and I wanted a black and white. So it generated both type of icons. So make sure to remove retro. So in this case, I want to try out neon. I want to try out steel and I want to this one, Fabinucci and black and white. OK, so I've selected four of these. Obviously, I need to generate four icons and I want to use two icons per style. So it's going to be eight credits. So let's get this cooking and it's going to do its AI job. Now, the cool thing about this is that you get full copyright for these icons and they're a great idea because if you're building websites, if you're doing marketing images, designs, etc., it's pretty hard to find icons that you can actually use, especially when it comes to kind of these weird things. Like in this case, a Chemex pod. It's a coffee brewing method thing that is it's popular, but I mean, not everyone's making icons for this. So this is when it comes a good idea. That icon looks really good. So let's wait for the next one to join. It's going to generate two of each in this case. So let's give it a few minutes. There we go. It just finished generating my eight icons that I needed. And I must say that I am really surprised at some of these icons that are something that I, I really want to use. So these are the two neon ones, the two steel, two Fabinashi and two black and white. Now, this one looks awesome if you ask me and generating that or thinking about it to generate it. It's going to take you a lot of time and even doing this manually will take you hours to do something like this. So this is really nice. So I like this one. I like this steel one and I like this black and white one. So that is a Chemex pot. So what you do is like you brew coffee in there and these are really nice icons that I could potentially use. So if I select it, I can go ahead and download obviously the version 1024 by 1024 pixels, generate five icon, generate iOS or Mac assets. And that's how easy it is to use. So basically that is candy icons. You just select the style, tell it what you want, the colors that you want to use, and it's going to generate these icons. Like I said, I mean, if you're going to waste a bunch of time trying to go find these icons that are pixelated, that are bad, that you don't have copyright issue, that you don't have copyright for them in searching for Google, or if you go to deposit photos and try to find an icon like this, it's going to be hard that you're going to find something that you actually like. So basically, I can fine tune this in the description of the icon, select the colors, select the style and generate the icon. I can generate more if I like until I get the one that I actually like. So basically, if you ask me, is the $29 you're paying for worth it? I say yes, it's definitely worth it. The only downside, it's 35 icons per month. There's no stacking. You can't buy two codes, three codes and stack it over it. But you can you can create several accounts if you ask me. So if you need more icons, you can buy in different emails for the candy icons. So that's a great idea if you need to if you need more credits. 
But there you go. That's a lifetime deal. That's only $29 to start generating the icons that you need for your website, your project, your designs, etc. That's how easy it is. Well, if you want to grab it, the link we provided in the description, it's an affiliate link. So if you buy through that link, it helps you out with a small commission and it's not going to cost you a single cent more than what it says already there. So that's a wrap for this video.